All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is going to be episode number one of my upgrade series for my Axial Yeti XL kit version. Now, I went over to my friends over at HotRacing.com to pick up some of their great upgrade parts that they have released uh, very quickly for the XL. Now, if you haven't heard of Hot Racing, uh, they got a little bit of a bad rap a few years back, and I don't know what changed, but something has changed drastically over the last year or so with not only their availability, but also their quality and their attention to detail on their parts. Now, I picked up uh, a couple of parts for my uh, Mini AT a while back, and that was really the turning point that I saw. That was about a year ago, last summer in 2014. Now, for my Yeti projects, my one-tenth scale, I went pretty much with a lot of hot racing parts, and they really, really held up. Um, a lot more than what I expected. So based on the price that Hot Racing charges and the quality you get, you can't beat it. So I uh, went back to them for some of their parts for the uh, XL kit version. And I'm going to do this in like a, a three uh, video process. So the first one you see here, this is going to be for the rear clip. I also have another video planned for the front clip. And then I also have the third video planned for the suspension. So stay tuned for those videos. Those will be coming up very, very soon. Now, first with the rear clip, I decided to do some durability items for the XL. Now, of course, the XL is pretty much the largest known uh, scale rig on the planet, uh, almost at least. Uh, one six scale is really what it comes out to. And the parts on it are just ginormous. And Hot Racing did a great job of, of some of their parts. So I went and I picked up some durability items for the rear of this thing. Really gets beat around being, you know, how heavy it is and, and everything else. Um, so the first thing here, this is going to be the rear lower link ladders. So this is going to be those rear trailing arms. Um, really, uh, really nice item to upgrade, especially if, the, if you have the RTR and you don't have the kit version with the extra little aluminum supports on the side. So these things are super nice, uh, kind of like a ladder design. So they have that nice chamfered edge. You can kind of see through them there and, you know, great, great, nice, nice, sturdy um, uh, trailing arms. So here, marks left and right, which is really nice. Hot Racing logo, all the hardware you need. So all the ball joints and everything else. And uh, these should bolt up really, really nice. Uh, next thing here, this is going to be the rear truss. Uh, this mounts on top of your rear axle and just supports um, the uh, upper uh, kind of trailing arms, what I call them, or the upper arms. So uh, once again, nice design. Super thin, actually, but really, really strong. I've tried to bend this thing, and you, you just can't do it. So um, really nice design, HR logo, all the chamfered edges. Comes with all the hardware, which another uh, huge brand typically doesn't come with hardware. So this is nice that they're including that. Uh, these two items, these are basically just the link mounts. So we got the lower link mounts just to keep the th same theme going on, chamfered edge, uh, march right and left, and everything that you'd want from a good quality part. All the hardware's there, so you're ready to go. Uh, these are the upper link mounts. So this is gonna mount uh, those upper links and you're set to go. So uh, pretty nice uh, once again. The last thing I picked up for the rear was a uh, aluminum differential cup. Uh, this thing just looked damn cool, uh, especially in the net. But now when I have it in person, um, it looks just awesome. Uh, you know, it has all the detailing there, all aluminum. And the one thing I like about the Yeti XL is you can pretty much pull off the cover and get to the diff. So really, really nice design. And I'll be able to switch this out pretty quickly. So anyways, uh, those are those items. I'm going to get turning some wrenches here and I'll show you what it looks like in the end. All right, so just doing a little pit stop here. I'm about ready to start installing the new trailing arms uh, onto my XL kit. And I uh, just kind of stumbled upon uh, a portion of no instructions slash narrowing down the parts you got in the bag. So I went ahead and uh, I, I, I installed one right here that you see, just so I'm kind of familiar with some of the parts. Now the parts that you're gonna get inside of the package, you're gonna get two different types of um, balls here. Let's just call it what they are. You're going to get one with uh, basically no flange or a very small flange, and then you're going to get one that has a larger flange. These larger flange ones are going to go on either end of the actual um, trailing arm. So these ones are probably for the end of your shocks. I'm not exactly sure yet, so we'll have to find out that maybe a little bit later. Now with each one of these, 
kind of flanged balls, you also get a set of um, O-rings that go on either side of them. And that's basically to help dampen uh, across uh, those ladders because they are all aluminum. So there's no like uh, ridges for it to kind of ride onto. So basically what you do is you just kind of uh, put those two rubber grommets or O-rings around the flanged washer. And then you basically insert that right inside of here. And it's going to give you a nice kind of area or surface to uh, kind of uh, work onto. All right, so I went ahead and got both of those uh, two flanged balls installed with the O-rings on either side. Uh, make sure that you orientate which side, and uh, Hot Racing does a great job of actually labeling each item with either right or left. So uh, that is pretty cool on their behalf. So it just keeps us and our sanity in check. So you'll notice on the inside, you're gonna have these kind of hexagonal um, points right there, and that's for the lock nuts. And they also, they go on the inside of the vehicle or towards the drive shaft. So on the uh, the final couple of bits and pieces here, um, as far as the front point and the rear point, uh, those will be using the stock hardware, or if you purchase the Hot Racing uh, link mounts, uh, you'll be using that hardware that came with it. Um, the, you do get uh, four of these uh, taper head screws, and you also get some of these kind of taper head um, washers, and they're actually going to be for the shocks and also the sway bars if you happen to have sway bars. So they're basically going to get mounted uh, like so. You have plenty of different mounting options. I am just doing the stock uh, location that gets kind of put through here and you're pretty much set to go. Inside, you just go ahead and mount your, uh, your lock nut and you're all done. All right, so let's see there, I went ahead and got them installed uh, using those kind of little flanged washers on either side there of the shock point and also the sway bar point and uh, everything mounted up great. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, underside or the uh, top truss uh, mounted on there with the uh, lower or the upper link mounts and I'll be ready to go on to the next portion. All right, so there will be a little addendum here uh, for the install of the lower trailing arms. Originally, I said that these flanged balls would go on either end of the actual trailing arms, but I was mistaken. Um, after further uh, inspection, um, you do need the smaller ones or the less narrow ones here uh, towards the rear axle. So uh, I was actually here to... Uh, uh, install the rear axle now and I noticed that these um, fixed uh, points here, the ones you won't be changing, are actually a little bit narrower than the uh, any, everything else basically. So these now fit on with no problem onto those uh, slightly narrower balls so you should be set to go. Alright I'm back now and I went ahead and got everything installed on my XL kit version from Hot Racing on the rear section of this. So um, make sure you guys paid attention throughout the video because uh, initially in the beginning, I thought I had something correct on the trailing arms and ended up later on when I got it installed, I actually messed up and used the wrong ball on the uh, lower link here on the, on the underside. So make sure you guys paid attention to that. I, I went ahead and got the rear diff installed as well. Um, that thing went great. I actually used just the stock fluid, the 20,000 that came with the kit. Uh, that was the perfect um, uh, median for the rear on my Yeti, although I may change out the front fluid later on down the line. So um, all in all on the rear diff here, the, the aluminum cup that was with the kit here, uh, really, really nice. Uh, I, I like how everything installed, it was, it was like it was made for it. So uh, it installed great. I couldn't believe how clean everything was when I did take it apart um, uh, on the XL kit. So it made installing this hot racing aluminum diff cup just that much easier. So uh, make sure you guys keep the orientation correct. The uh, bevel gear goes on the right side of the vehicle. So make sure you guys keep that in mind. Otherwise I did have to take out um, both uh, lockouts and remove the axles to actually get that diff out. I thought I could do it without, uh, but for some reason it was not uh, cooperating. So uh, let's take a quick look here at everything. Uh, you can see that upper axle truss really turned out great. I really dig the look of it. It's gonna give some uh, great durability there. Um, make sure you guys pay attention to a lot of the screws that come with the hot racing parts because they are a little bit shorter in some areas and they do require Loctite. So make sure you guys have that on hand. They are seeing those rear trailing arms uh, really turned out nice. 
up here on the flip side, we're going to take a look at some of those links. If I can flip this big boy over, there's the lower link right there. You can kind of see that upper link peeking through. And that's it. So I got some more work to do here. I'm going to start the front section and then finally the uh, suspension setup. So, well, that's it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this very long video. I think this thing may crest up to the 15 minute mark. Hopefully you guys have stayed around till now. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please check out my Facebook page and also my RC crawler thread. I have lots of detailed pictures of the stock items compared to the upgraded hot racing parts. So check those out. Those will be in the video description down below. Till then, that's it for now, guys. Over and out.